So you clicked on the video because you want to sell your magic beans from the drip garden. Okay, we're going to take a look at that. Also, you might have a look at when is the best possible time to sell and harvest your seeds from the drip garden. So stick around for details on that. Stick around to the end. I have a drip garden giveaway happening. Don't skip to the end. Promise. Watch the whole video. Okay. So you want to sell me magic beans? <laughs>
But if you don't want to do that and you want to DCA into pigs, you can do that. You can buy pigs if you want, which is occasionally what I'll do is I'll DCA into Animal Farm pigs with my BUSD. Another option you might want to take is to add a new liquidity pair, which is pigs and BUSD. And that is essentially piglets. And you want to deposit that into the Animal Farm as a piggy bank. So you take your spare BUSD and you take your spare pig that you've got and you go to the add liquidity page over here on the animal farm and then you select how many pigs you want to add to the liquidity pair and you need to make sure you have the equivalent value of BUSD as well. So you need to put half and half. So 0.7 pigs is $60 in BUSD. So make sure you have those values available in your wallet. And then when you've done that, click on the 1% because you want to pay as less as little slippage as possible. And then add liquidity. So that will add a liquidity pair of pigs BUSD, which can be deposited into the piggy bank as a stake. I won't go into detail about that just yet. That's another video we can go into detail about. Uh, but I assume you will have knowledge of the pigs token and the piggy bank, as well as the pig pen, because that's where you'd want to go and uh, deposit your available pigs or piglets in the animal farm if you choose to take that strategy at the moment i'm really focusing more on drip getting as much drip as i can into the faucet and then when the animal farm comes around i will then focus refocus back on the animal farm now let's have a look at a strategy that you might want to think about on when is the best time to harvest your seeds and split that lp for profits i like to go to this particular website called june.com now I have a link to a specific uh, wallet analysis for the drip garden and you can just paste in your specific wallet with your drip garden in here and get the analytics for that particular garden. I'll leave that link in the description of the video so you can click on that and have a play and have a look at how your garden looks. But at the, in the top section here we have the, uh, the overall contract for the drip garden. So we have 29,200 people in the contract or 200 wallets I should say and then we have total LPs spent and various data for the drip garden we won't need to worry about that too much uh, at the moment because what I want to focus on is our wallet or your wallet which is my wallet my wallet currently has 161,000 plants out of uh, a value of $722 I'm getting 5.3 thousand wallets plants per day 2.32 LP per day and $24 in revenue if I was to claim. And it's currently 3.33% per day uh, that it's producing for me, for my wallet. And what I like to look at when I'm thinking about uh, harvesting my seeds is pretty much every morning when I go to compound or, or replant my seeds, I will look at this particular website and I'll check whether my LP per day, and this is the value of the LP here. And if the LP per day has gone up, then I know where it's a little bit more positive. So it's, for me, in my personal opinion, this is probably one of the most important aspects. If your LP per day, so it's this is the drip USD LP that you're receiving every day from your plants. If that goes up, then that's a positive thing. The other thing that I like to look at is the drip price. If the drip price is in an upward trend, right now it's kind of hovering around $9, but it's not really in an upward trend. It's kind of going sideways. But if it starts to go up in an upward trend, then that again tells me that it's a good time to start to at least harvest. So those are the two things that I like to look at, 2.32 LP per day. So if that goes up, uh, it, when I look at it in the morning, if it goes up from yesterday, I know that's positive. If the drip price is in an upward trend, then I know that's a good, that's a good sign. As well as the LP per day and the drip price, there is a third option here that I like to look at. But I don't like to think about it too much because it's not good to think about how much the plant decays or how much the plants are decaying. And I don't think about it in terms of price. What is the price per plant at the moment? How many fractions of a penny it is? Because it's always going down. The contract is natural for that to happen. But it just depends uh, on the circumstances, how much it is going down per day. And this particular value, this percentage here, will tell you how much it's gone down uh, in the last, I think it's 24 hours, because every day I check this, the, the number is, is changing. And if, if it kind of 
is hovering more or less around the one percent that is another good sign that is a time to harvest and if you harvest it won't affect your garden too much so those are the three factors that i like to look at the lp per day if it's increasing the drip price is in an upward trend and the plant value percentage is hovering more or less at one percent if it's anything kind of like 2.39 like it is now then i probably won't harvest i just harvested the for this particular video as an example so i just destroyed my garden for you just joking <laughs> anyway those are the three factors that i like to look at for when it's time to harvest my seeds i'm sure there is other uh i'm sure there are other people who have different ways of looking at this data but that's i like to try and keep it simple it's not rocket science it doesn't have to be that difficult just make sure that your lp per day is going up the drip price is in an upward trend and that the plant decay is more or less one percent i started a little initiative for helping out small garden holders i've asked people to send me their wallet address if their wallet or if their drip garden is less than forty thousand plants and what i can do is compound to their referral code and they should receive five percent of the plants that i compound into my garden i've tried this a few times with a few people and i've had a few hits and a few misses so it's not clear whether it's working 100% or not. So on top of that, I've decided to throw a Twitter competition where people can win one LP, one drip USD LP, which is worth about 2,500 plants. And surprisingly, there is a lot of people with small bags in the drip garden. So I want to help out some people with their drip garden compounding and give people a one LP drip USD LP. So that will be about 2,500 plants to win. The Twitter competition is linked in the video description to find that tweet there. The details will be on the tweet itself, so check that out in the description. For more details about a drip garden strategy, check out my drip ecosystem calculator above. The video below is another drip related video that might help you on your drip and drip garden journey. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button. Talk to you again soon guys. Love ya. Bye.